What's going on? It's Ben here from Flick, and today we're talking all about Instagram story games. So we're gonna give you some tips and some ideas to up your story game so that Instagram loves you, so that your audience is engaging with you, and so more people are seeing your stories consistently. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about some Instagram story games. Let's go. So right off the top, why these are so helpful is because Instagram loves all forms of engagement, and the same is true on your story. So the more people that you get interacting with your story, the more of your audience is going to see it, and the more people that are seeing it and engaging with it consistently means they're going to see it more consistently moving forward. So these polls and these games are an exceptional way to get your community engaged, build a relationship with them that Instagram can track and will keep showing them your content because of it. And that's why all these ideas that we're gonna cover in this video can be very valuable for your page. So be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss one. The first thing you need to figure out when putting an Instagram poll game together is what is the game actually about? The most successful poll games are typically around a specific topic within your niche or have a more mass general appeal so everyone can get involved who follows you. And this is important because it makes it far more likely that your followers will engage. If it's within your niche, chances are they followed you for that specific reason. And if it's more general, that means anyone can get involved. A few quick examples off the top of my head of things that you could do would be pick my makeup. That's one that I love to do all the time. This or that cartoon edition, pick the perfect holiday destination, and so many more, but those are just a few examples that are speaking to the kind of things you wanna be approaching to make it easy for people to get engaged. But before we get into any of these ideas, you first have to understand how to put one of these poll games together. And this is gonna be done all through your stories on Instagram. First, you'll need to upload a photo or photos of your choice to really make this poll game pop and really bring it to life. Typically, when it comes to a poll game, it's people deciding between one option or the other. And to do this very easily, Easily just open up Instagram stories and use the layout feature. This will allow you to select two different images to split the story in half. Upload your two images and then crop them to your liking before confirming and moving forward. Once you've done that, then click through on your story to stories features and that's gonna open up a ton of options that Instagram gives you to really customize your story. From here, you're gonna wanna either pick the question sticker or the poll sticker depending on the poll game that you're putting together. For the example of this or that, you use a poll, making it very easy for anybody coming across the story to click and choose their favorite. So that's a surface level look of how you can put these games together. Now we're gonna give you some spicy ideas to really bring this to life and get a lot more people engaged with your stories. The first idea is one that I just touched on briefly, this or that. This is a super easy story poll game that you can put together in seconds and it's very easy for people to engage with. Ideally, again, you'd wanna follow the same principles of it being within your niche or being widely accessible and inclusive so that anyone can have an opinion and get involved. A really quick example could be your favorite kind of food. Do you prefer tacos or pizza? That's something that everybody has an opinion on and regardless of which side you fall on, you're gonna wanna get involved. It's very easy. It's one tap away to get involved. And you can put a this or that story poll together in a few different ways. You can use the layout feature, which we touched on earlier. You can even use just simple emojis with a blank background, or you could put some Something completely custom together using free software like Canva. You can really get creative here and it's a very simple and easy way to get a ton of people engaging with your story. I'm sure you yourself have come across these story polls in the past and it's pretty difficult not to engage. I know for myself, if someone's asking me pizza or tacos, I gotta chime in and click that pizza, but that's just me. And a few more rapid fire examples of this or that that are super easy to create. You could do your favorite season, summer or winter. Do you prefer going out or staying in? Sweet or savory, dinner or breakfast, pancake or waffle? You see what I'm saying? The next idea for story poll games would be product feature polls. This is a popular way that brands use to get people excited about new launches and get their customers or audience involved. This gets people excited, it gets people involved, and it also gives you market feedback in real time, which is a huge bonus. You can also get very creative with this as well. Going beyond just the simple poll feature, you can get very creative using something like the slider feature with a custom made graphic to really get specific and allow people to have a ton of input. And if your account is eligible, this type of story will also allow you to have a swipe up feature. So if you're referencing specific products, you can also make it extremely easy for customers just to go right to your website and purchase them. The next idea is live poll games. This is another great way to get your audience really interactive and start building a relationship with them as they're going to have some control over what you're doing in your day, your work, or what you're eating, something like that. So a quick example could be, what should I eat today? Should I have a burger or should I have a salad? You could give them the options and then it also allows you to follow up and create more content saying who won and what you went with and then speaking to that whole thing. It helps to build a connection and a relationship with your audience. It just gives so much opportunity for two-way communication and relationship building on Instagram. It allows your followers to get to know you a little more. It is fun, it is light, and it makes content creation for your stories 
Very, very simple. And as long as you're not giving yourself an option that you hate, you really can't go wrong here. Unless you wanna give an option like that to your followers to really get them engaged, that's up to you. But you get what I'm saying here, tons of flexibility, very light and easy and a ton of engagement. The next poll game idea that you need to consider is to really make whatever poll game you're doing as much about your audience as possible. And what I mean by this is you wanna make it very relatable and very approachable so that way you're ensuring that as many people as possible will want to engage. We as people are far more likely to connect and interact with content that relates to us and are similar to experiences that we have gone through. It's just easier for us to connect to, making it far more likely that we'll actually interact. So whenever possible, you wanna make sure your poll game directly addresses them and really pulls them in. And if you do this effectively, it's also going to increase the chances of your existing followers sharing your story to other like-minded people, helping you to grow your audience all at the same time. And on the topic of promoting sharing, you can even work that directly into the poll or question. Hypothetically, you could say, what is your best friend's favorite color? You could even make a full best friend's test where you have a bunch of questions asking how well that person actually knows their best friend. This is very likely to get engagement from that person, but it's also extremely likely that they share it with their friend, increasing the amount of people seeing your content, as well as the engagement on your actual story. Other similar examples could be how well do you know your partner? How well do you know your boss? So on and so forth. Really make it highly relatable. Everyone has a boss. Everyone has a friend things of that nature, making it far more likely that these people will engage and then in turn share it with their friend, their boss, whatever it may be. Easy to engage with, highly relatable and highly shareable. Check, check, check. If you've enjoyed this video so far and you've learned a thing or two about poll games, take two seconds and smash the like button on this video. And don't forget to subscribe to Flick's YouTube channel for weekly videos to help you crush it on Instagram. The final poll game is my personal favorite and it's what I call find the poll. So essentially you'll be creating a game here to really get your audience involved. And what this game looks like is using a generic background. You then crop out a fake poll. You then copy and paste that a bunch of times within the actual story so that way only one of the polls is actually live. So the find the poll game is exactly what it sounds like. With only one of them being live, people have to spend more time trying to find the one that's live. And how you take this whole game to another level is to incorporate levels. So make the first find the poll a little easy, the next one a little bit harder, and then the final one harder. Or if you wanna do more than that, go for it. But increase the difficulty as you go along. I've included some examples on the screen of when I did this on my personal page, and it went extremely, extremely well. My audience was very engaged. They love playing the game and it actually improved my overall story views by 40% above my average typical viewership on my story. So a ton of great success and a huge bonus to all this engagement is that once Instagram sees that a ton more people are interacting with your story, they then push that story to more of your followers that maybe don't typically see your story. And then if they too interact with the poll, the chances of them seeing your stories moving forward increases dramatically. So this is a very powerful game that you can use that doesn't take a ton of time to create and people love playing it. If you want a full breakdown of how to create the find the poll game specifically, let us know in the comment section down below. I think we can sort something out. Besides that, I'd love to hear from you out of all of these different ideas, which one was your favorite? What are you gonna implement? Let us know in the comment section down below. And we'd also love to know if you have a different way that you've used games on your story. Please let us know in the comment section down below. Share with your friends. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos to help you crush it on Instagram. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.